Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? I hope you are having a really good day. Today, I'm super excited because Profusion, one of my favorite brands, just came out with a new foundation. I think it's their only foundation. I know they have like a BB cream, but they just came out with this. So this is the Profusion Feel Good Skin Longwear Skin Perfector. It has hyaluronic acid in it, which is awesome. And it's a medium to full coverage and has, it's a natural satin finish and it has an SPF of 15. So that's what the bottle looks like. I got the shade medium one, which is warm yellow. Um, so Profusion, um, if you don't know what that brand is, they are known for their palettes. Basically, um, they have like amazing products there for super, super cheap. And this foundation is only $7. So we're gonna try it out today and see if it's any good. Um, I have done a full face up Profusion. So I've tried their BB cream before. So uh, I'll leave that video down below if you guys wanna check that out. Um, but yeah, so I did my brows, I did my eyes already, and so we're just gonna jump into the skin and we're gonna try it out. I've had this for a little while and I haven't tried it, so I'm like super excited to just like get into it and try it out. So I hope you guys are too. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, before you leave um, and hit the bell so you guys stay notified for when I upload. And we're gonna jump right in to today's video. So before we jump into the foundation, I'm going to prime my skin a little bit. I'm gonna use this Catrice Energizing Priming Care Spray. This is like a um, priming, primer spray and I really have been liking using it. It smells really good too, so I'm just gonna hit my face really quick with this. I'm gonna use a little bit of primer oil. I'm using this one from uh, e.l.f., which is this is their Retro Paradise Primer Oil. I just do like two drops and then I press it into the skin. All right, I just clipped my hair back so that it's out of the way. <laughs> so the formula looks definitely very thick. This is basically what it looks like on this palette here. And I feel like the shade is gonna work, hopefully. So I'm gonna use a, uh, this is my dose of color sponge. I'm gonna use this and I'm just gonna dot this on my face and start blending it in. I really like the amount of coverage you get. It's not like one of those foundations where it's like straight up full coverage automatically. It definitely is very buildable. I didn't squeeze out that much as you saw. It definitely gave me a nice amount of coverage. I would say it's sheer to medium, but definitely very buildable. The shade on me is a little bit lighter than my skin tone, but it meshes my face really nicely. It definitely has like a nice dewiness to it. It's not like too dewy. Also, that could be the oil on my skin, but I like the way that it's not like super matte because I do not like matte foundations. Obviously, add more if you want to, but I'm gonna leave it like this just because with powder and concealer and everything, it's just gonna, it's gonna even itself out. I'm gonna try a little bit of concealer over it and then I'll do the rest of my makeup off camera and then we'll come back and then we'll do some check-ins to see how good this is lasting. So, but right now I'm gonna use the Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer. I've never used this before and I have it in the shade four. Okay, so that concealer definitely looked, uh, did a really good job. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup off of camera and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna do some check-ins to see how good this foundation lasts. So hold tight, I'll be right back and we'll see what the final product looks like. Okay guys, so the makeup is all done. Um, this shade is definitely a little bit too light for me, but for right now, but for the winter and all that, it should be okay. I might end up ordering another one that is my shade. This one is definitely um, a little bit too light, but all in all, it looks really good with all the makeup done. The foundation so far is looking really good. I just don't like how light it's looking because just that's just the shade though. It's looking good so far. Um, it's falling a little bit into my smile lines, but that is to be expected. That happens with literally every foundation. Um, but it looks so good so far. So I'm gonna do ch two check-ins. So right now it's 1.20, so um, I'm gonna be back around like three or four and we're gonna see how good this lasts. We'll probably do a six hour wear time and see how good it lasts, so. Hang tight for a sec and we'll see how this makeup lasts in a few hours. Okay guys, so it is currently seven o'clock at night, so it has currently been six hours since I first put on the makeup. I was gonna do two check-ins, but I ended up taking a nap <laughs> and falling asleep. So that's why we're only gonna do one check-in and I'm gonna tell you how the makeup lasted. So because I did take a nap, I had to touch up like under my eyes cause like some of the liner kind of came off. It's still looking really good. There's some oils coming out like around my nose, which is actually really nice. I like when that happens cause it makes it look a little bit more dewy. Cause I felt like when I um, was done with my makeup, I was looking really matte, but I think that's because I didn't use enough setting spray. My smile lines haven't gotten any worse than they were originally, which was really, really good. Uh, it's looking a little bit weird on my nose, um, getting like the foundation kind of like in my pores a little bit, but it's still looking 
really good and so for six hours I think it looks really 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 good um I really uh, like this foundation the only problem I had with it was this the shade I chose which um as of right now it looks good but when I first put it on it was definitely very light um, I really like the finish of it it's not matte and it's also not like too dewy so it's a nice in between shades so if you're oily or if you have dry skin you could wear this foundation it also has hyaluronic acid in it which is always going to be good for your skin if you have dry skin or if you have oily skin so um definitely check it out i think it's a really good foundation to try it looks really really good on the skin right now and having worn it for six hours i feel like it's definitely a long wearing foundation um the coverage was definitely not um i would say full coverage but again it was buildable this is medium to full coverage here but i would say it's sheer to medium because you can definitely wear this like almost as like a, a tinted moisturizer kind of coverage it's not like too crazy so i really really like this i think it is definitely worth the purchase i'll definitely be using it again but yeah all in all definitely like it definitely will use again so i recommend it for you guys to try it at home um six hours is usually is usually where i um, would say it's like a full day wear test because if it's gonna work for six hours I doubt that in two hours it's going to like just fall apart I don't think that's the case here literally the only spot that's getting a little weird is on my nose and that could be from the concealer just like falling into my pores on my nose and that looks a little weird and even in my smile lines it's not cracking too bad so I am really happy with it so yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this video um let me know down below if you tried this foundation or if there's anything else from Perfusion that you want me to try out and see on my channel in the future. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and supporting my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.